Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Atlas Single Player Modded. That's right, I have to say modded because some people are getting upset that I'm telling you uh, admin commands and, and that I've got mods on my ship. I have one mod on my ship right now, and it is the sail weight increase plus more. I'll link that down below so you guys can take a look at it. Anyway guys, what it does is for every one, as your eyes do not deceive you, I have eight, I have eight masts on this boat. This ship... This brigantine has eight, seven speed sails and one handling sail, because with seven speed sails, I'm expecting I'm going to need the extra handling power. I do have one crew for each one of these sails. That means I have eight crew up top. Down below, I have got two free guys, one right here. He's a, he's a repair guy. I need, actually, you know what? Let me go grab, I made some things here. Let's go ahead and grab a, uh, let's grab a bucket, two buckets, and let's grab two hammers. Because I don't know if they need a hammer to repair or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and let's give him the hammer and a bucket, just in case. I don't even know if they can do that, but we're actually going to go ahead and behavior. All right, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Anyway, I, I'm assuming that they, they will repair as needed. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to, I'm going to give him the hammer. I'm going to give him the bucket. Where's the other bucket? Oh, here it is. Just in case they uh, they decide that they you know if I get hit or if I hit something I want to make sure that they're repairing it as fast as possible. So I've got one on the below decks, one in the mid deck, and I don't have any on the upper deck, but that's okay. I think I, I'll handle whatever I need to from there. Uh, I don't think I have any water in here, do I? Not yet. It has not rained in my game yet, so I don't know what's going on with that, but that's okay. I uh, see. So we've got ten guys in all. I have eight crew members up here or handling these sails and two down below just in case but i think what i need to do guys is we're going to have to take care of our crew so the main thing about this is we got you got to take care of your crew right off the bat so this is what we're going to do today right now guys i gotta also take care of myself because if you look here uh, they are costing me 5.2 uh, one gold coin for every 5.2 hours for each one so that's 10 gold coins for every five hours i play and I've got, I don't have much because I only had some common uh, treasure maps in the last episode, but I've got, or left, 186. So that's not bad, really. I mean, that's, you know, like 50, 60, 70, 70, 80 hours or something, like 80 hours of me playing before I got to worry about it. But you know what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to get that, that number down but from using my skills that are in here. So we're going to go to Captain Earring right here. I have plenty of points now because I'm, I'm way leveled up. And let's see, we're going to go with improved ship maintenance. Actually, let's go, first of all, let's go to cheaper crew. And now what is it? Now it's one, oh, it's still the same. One point every five, 5.2. All right, let's try this again. Improved cheaper crew, advanced cheaper crew. It's still the same. One gold every 5.2 hours. Huh. Huh. I wonder why it's doing that, why it's not making it cheaper for me. It should be cheaper. But maybe after I log out and log back in, maybe it'll change. All right. Well, anyway, that's just a necessary thing. So let's go ahead and let's also make these guys talented. This is uh, increases the speed of which the NPC crew can handle the sails on the ship. Absolutely, 100%, 10%, Yes, okay, so we can raise and lower the sails a lot faster. Crew education reduces the rate in which the, in which the ship sinks. Yes, please. I'm going to be going really fast, so I think we're going to be needing that, like really needing that. So we're going to go all the way down. Let's reload overdrive. I don't have any cannons right now, so we're not going to do that right now, but what's this efficient repairs? Further decreases the duration of the no-build smoke wherein a structure is destroyed. I'm on a single player, so I don't need that. I don't think. I don't think I need that. What's the rally of the troops? A commanding shout rings out and encourages all those aboard the captain's ship to work together hardest, offering greatest reduced stamina consumption and increased reload speed for all crew on board. Huh. Okay. Don't know if I need that or not. Improved ship maintenance, though. We need that. So we're going to do that. That's 14 points. 
You know what? I may as well buy them, the, rally the troops. I don't really know if I'm going to need it, but we're going to do it. And advanced rationing so it's, they, they don't eat nearly as much. Let's see. That's everything, I think, except for the dance and unlocked music. I don't care about that, really. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do the efficient repairs because it's only 14 points, and I've got a bunch of points. So that's that. I've bought every piece of, of crew goodness that I can, I can get. Let's go, to, let's go to piracy right quick. Let's see what we're going to do here. Because I also want to, I'm going to be getting more treasure, right? So we're going to do advanced shoveler, which is going to increase the resources gained from, when shoveling on open ground. I don't know if that actually affects treasure, but we're going to get it anyway because it's only 10 points. Advanced plunder. I'm going to get that because all my plunder is going to be jacked up. I want that. Let's see. What, how many, we, got a, we got a bunch of points left here. Um, drop the gauntlet. That's the declare war one. I don't care about that because we're single player. And what's yours is mine. I don't care about that. I also don't care about the prying eyes feet, which allows you to look into another uh, somebody else's container. Let's see. We're going to go with advanced diver. I'm going to take all of those. That's 13 points. That's going to allow me to, is it allow me to swim faster? It's all about the diving suit. Enhances the ability of the diving suit and diving suit structure. Reducing, okay, so that does nothing to do with me holding my breath, which is really a bummer because I really would like that to hold my breath. All right, so what else do I need here? Seamanship, is there anything here I want to worry about? Advanced sightseeing, seeing flotsam. Yeah, maybe. We might care about flotsam. We might, actually. And I don't need the large weight sail. We've got the mod right now. Able navigation, sextant, and the amount of time uh, allowed to connect to the stars. I don't really know how that works, and I don't, so I'm not going to do it. Cosmology is the amount of time available to find stars with using the sextant. Not going to get that either, because I don't understand it. Um, and I now that I because I, I I I unlocked the fog of war, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Whoa, my textures are going like wonky. That's weird. Um, so. I'm going to go back in here real quick and make sure, because we're going to arm and armor these guys and make sure that they can handle themselves. So with armor, I already have it all the way down to, where is it? Secrets of armor, advanced armor studies, which, and I think that's all I needed, right? I don't care about shields right now. We're probably going to get all the perks if we can. Advance our armor upkeep. Yeah, let's do that. That'll, that allows our armor to last a little longer every, with every hit we get. Temperate armor. Oh, it's temperature fortitude penalty. Oh, yes, please. I don't want to get too hot or too cold in my armor. All right, so that's good. And then so that's everything in the armor section that I want to get. And then the, the, now the one thing I didn't get was I didn't get melee weaponry yet. We're going to do that right now. So let's go ahead and let's drop over to... Oh, oxygen reduction rate. That's what the oxygen consumption is. Let's do that. I want that all the way up. Yes. And water swimming, all the way up. Improved water temperature, all the way up. I don't care about the vitamin deficiency rate thing because um, the, I, the, I never really found that that was, an, it, that was a thing. Um, that that actually helped me. But you know what? We might get it. I have plenty of points. Let's just get it. Why not? Yeah, we'll get it. That's fine. Which, that, by the way, that allows you to, uh, your, your, your vitamin uh, depletion not to go down so fast. Like you're not, oh, there it's finally raining. I got water on the boat now. Yeah, boy. Cool. Very nice. Anyway, you're, you're, what that does is your, uh, your vitamins won't deplete so fast. All right, so... Once again, we're going to get advanced repair all the way down. That's 28 points. That way it's going to make it a lot, we're going to make it a lot easier to repair the boat if something happens. All right, we're going to unlock melee weaponry. And that's going to give us all this stuff. I think we're going to go ahead and go with... Do we want the 200 mace? I thought that said tremendous fart feet. Like I probably have enough to get everything here, but I'm not gonna. We're gonna go with uh, one half, one, 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 
one-handed tier and the two-handed one here. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother with the with the mace, but we are gonna get the. I want to get the the spear or the pike. I want to get the sword because that's two-handed weapons tier two. Oh, up to legendary quality. Okay, so that will allow me to, to. This allows me to use weapons up to legendary quality, which is great. Actually, this will allow it to be up to mythical quality, right? Yeah, yeah, we want that. We do. All right, so I think we're good for right now. I think we're good. By the way, guys, sorry if it wasn't clear when I was reading through that stuff. I know I mumbled through a lot, a little bit of it. But uh, if you want to go back and you want to stop the video, you want to go ahead and read that yourself. You can. Uh, I, I pretty much am getting everything. Because I have the points to, and I'm gonna, so, and it's given me enough points. I didn't modify that, so I don't know why I have so many points. Maybe in single player you get more? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys some armor and some weapons. So I have 10 people, so we need to get, let's see, swords. I can only make four? All right, what do I need? I need fiber, hide, metal, wood. We're just going to load this place up because I'm probably going to use most of my resources doing this. Fiber. Wood. I'm low on hide. I'm going to have to go get... Oh, no, I'm not. Here we go. Hide. And metal. All right, so swords, we're going to make 10. Actually, 11, I need one too. And then we're going to go metal armor, helmets. All right, we're going to make 10 of those. Chest pieces, I'll make 10 of those. When am I going to be short after that? Looks like, oh, it's going to be keratin, huh? Might be keratin I'm going to be short. I have plenty of keratin. I don't need to worry about that. And we need the boots. And after that, I think we're going to be out of, is it metal? Are we really going to be out of metal? It looks like we're going to be out of metal. I'm going to go run and grab some more metal, guys, because I'm going to need a little bit more. That's a lot of armor, though. I'm making 10 armor sets and 10 sets of swords. So, you know, it's not, it's not amazing, but I really want to see if I can make them firearms if they'll, if they'll, uh, If they'll fire them. I don't know. Will they fire firearms if you give them to them? Okay. Oh, I almost fell off the boat. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get the last three. What was that short? Legs. Okay. So that's what I need. I'm going to go plate legs. Oh, it wasn't metal I was going to be short on. It has to be keratin. Wow, okay. Okay, I gotta go kill some things. I gotta go kill something. Cause oh, let me grab one of the swords. I may as well just use a sword on the on the pig, right? Or whatever I'm using. Alright, let's do that. There we go. Down he went. Like a champ he is. Alright, that's almost done. All right, that stuff's almost done, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see what we got going on here. Um, all right, so I've got all this armor and all this, all the weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and grab everything out of here. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away that I don't need right now. Like all this stuff that I don't need. I'm going to go ahead and grab it later. And then all the plate. Good thing I can carry as much as I can. Okay, that should be everything. I think I've got enough armor and weapons for everybody. So, and you get a sword, and you get a sword, and you get a sword. Come here, you. Go ahead and go with uh, an armored pants. All right, let's go with this. Um, there's a, there's a sword. Let's see, I guess we're going to go like this. And then pants. And then a helmet. 
And then gloves. And then boots. Look at you all armored up looking pretty. Yeah, nice. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this to all of my guys. And then I will be right back. Yeah. So the one thing I did notice, and it looks so cute. All right, so the one thing I did notice is that their weight is 42 out of 60. They've got some levels here. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a little extra. They don't have a whole lot going on for them. But we're going to give them as much health as, and, and weight as we can. So like two or three points in weight just so they can, they can move around in their armor. And then the rest in health, I think. Maybe we'll do, we'll split it. How about that? We'll split it four and four. It looks like each one of them have about eight levels, so. Okay, guys, it's morning time. I just took a dip so I won't get too hot for a little bit. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to head on out of here. I think I've got all the maps. Well, I got all but four of the maps in my toolbar. And I don't see any, I don't see any treasure right now on this island. So I think we're going to be good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's test this thing. I want to see what it's going to do. All right, are we ready? Uh -huh. All right, seven speed sails plus a handling sail. I barely am moving. I barely tapped it. We're moving out at a, you know, a fair clip. I mean, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a fair speed. Boy, it just barely, barely, well, we're, the wind's with us too, but look at that. We're going out fairly, fairly decent clip here. Okay, okay. Go ahead and K-mode out. Let's go ahead and make sure that we, uh, we're not going to hit any rocks or anything like that. Pretty shallow, but I think we're going to be okay. Think we're going to be all right. Yeah, we're just barely, just barely getting past it. Nice and slow. Slow and easy. Go ahead and just scope out of here. All right. A little bit more, a little bit more. That's a fair speed, I think. And I think we want to go west. I think we want to go west because I want to. I want to try to do. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that steering, man. That handling sail is really good. I know for these those of you who are like you guys should use a handling sail. I was like, yeah. You know what? It actually works really well. And with all the speed that we're gonna get out of this, watch this. Kick it! Kick it! Oh God! Oh God! Hang on. There's a rock right there. What are you doing, dude? Uh, this is going to take a little getting used to because that's a lot more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up, 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 back it up. Back it up. That's a lot more um, turn than I, I'm used to. So I, I'm going to have a little bit better, a little bit more of a feather touch. And we're going to go against the wind at full sail. Look how far out we went that, that, that fast. That was so good. If I turn my sails, catch the wind. Yeah, man, that 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 nose is squirrely as hell. Guys, that nose is squirrely as heck. All right, we'll catch a little bit better wind here. Is that flotsam? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We really got to watch it. This is a this boat's going to be the death of me and my crew. It's way fast. <laughs> but I need this big of a boat so I can go ahead and um I can get around. We to get from one island to another, we need speed. Like a lot of speed. Like I'm not. I've got like orange wind here. If you look at the top right hand side, I, I refer to it by its color, and that's because you know. All right, there's some ships of the damned over there. I see them. 
in the distance, or I did. Here they come. Here come the bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? Hey, well, you know what? You know what? You're never going to catch me. I bet you I could go right down the middle of them. I, if I had the wind, I would. And they would do nothing. But they do, they do nothing when, when, they're, when you're, well, I mean, if you're super slow. But, like, they have a pretty decent aggro range with a brigantine. So I, I got to kind of watch it. All right, we're coming up on this island pretty quick, so. There's got to be, there's bound to be an island here somewhere. There's bound to be a treasure here somewhere. We are going west, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going west. And all four of these islands are, are free ports, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I think this, let's back off the, the sails here. And turn this a little bit. Oh my gosh, man. This thing turns on a dime. I might want to get rid of that handling cell, actually. It's way too... It's really, really squirrely for me. So, yeah, I might want to... I might want to chill. Like, it's responding way too fast. For my liking, I think. All right. So we're just going to use a little bit of sail here. To get us on down the road. Hey, I see a treasure! All right, guys. Seems like a park it. We're gonna. The one thing I didn't do for my guys is I didn't. I didn't have a larder. I didn't make a larder. I need to make a larder. So we're gonna have to do that. Just as soon as I get this treasure, we're gonna go do that. But I'll do that off camera. It's not a big deal. Let's see what kind of treasure we got here. There's. I have like. What, 14 treasure maps? So there's bound to be more than one on this island. Come on, big boy. Level 13. Bar Refuge. Oh, that was the one? That was the one? <laughs> that was the one map? All right. So 20 gold coins still. Well, that's okay. I'll take the 20. I'm not going to complain. We're going to be, it's really good. Okay, got some throwing knives I don't care about. Got a bow, 105 damage. Nah, it's not really enough to make a difference. Uh, you know what? There's a 101 carbine, but I don't, yeah. Hide boots, fur chest piece. Now, nah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and call it. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be fine. All right, guys, I don't think we did too bad. I got all, t all 10 of my guys armed, armored. Um, they're not quite fed yet, but they are getting paid, so they shouldn't complain too much. Uh, actually, I don't want them to die from starvation, but the game turns off when I get done, so that's pretty much uh, all I need for them. So I'll make a larder here in a minute, and we're going to go run around the, this quadrant, and we're going to get all the treasure maps so I can pay them a decent wage for a good amount of time. Then what I'm going to do is I'm, next, next episode, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start getting guns ready on this thing. Cannons and ballistas, both. Because I'm going to need ballistas for Cyclops, and we're going to go after a Power Stone in the next couple of episodes. So stay tuned, because I'm excited. You should be too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode of Atlas Single Player Modded. We'll see you later, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.